<clears throat> like we always do at this time. What up, y'all? Y'all know how we do it. It's your boy Costa. Storm. In the motherfucking building. Just sit here chilling. And we trying to get, you know what I'm saying? Get back on point here. A lot of people getting mad. A lot of people saying little slick stuff like, oh, why y'all saying da da da? Hey, man. Tell y'all like this here. The information is disturbing. I, I I like to listen to a lot of psychic readers and shit. Listen to what they're saying. See if anything they're saying on point. And so far, Alexis, you got the game right now. Hold up. If it never was somebody, Tom, shit, Tom, baby girl. Y'all better catch on. Catch the wave. I know a lot of people gonna be like, oh, she fake. She phony. She do this snap. Man, yo. Alexis hit or everything on the head before they told us anything. And that's fucked up. Because she was saying this stuff about the brother. She was saying this shit about the baby mama. She said everything. Now I went to another page and another young lady was doing a reading, right? And when she was doing her reading, Allegedly, Rich Homie Kwan was in the back talking. I don't know how true that stuff be. I don't really get into that. I'm not familiar with how to do I don't know how to do none of that. I can only go by what I was listening to and watching. The, 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 the thing said that Amber gave him pills. He was even like, damn, broski. I'm trying to show you. He was like, broski? One of the reasons? I don't know how real it is. Like I said. The brother name coming up. That's it. A lot of people say, I feel like this shit. And I'm going to tell y'all like this shit. I'm kind of swearing towards like, maybe it was a mistake. You know what I mean? But what was done after the mistake is a crime. Like, no matter how you want to look at it, it's a crime. Like, what, like you got to report when somebody's dead. You don't want to see a people just lay there and die in your face. Like, who would sit there and do that? That's like crazy. And I don't want to think that they did that, but all the fingers that's pointing, it's saying they did. And the other part that kind of got me, when he said they messed with her. Who messed with her? Hmm. Is it Woody Num? Could it be Woody Num? Like I told y'all, my I told y'all the other day. Y'all don't think that it's funny? Her last name is Williams too. Like Young Thug. Young Thug's name is Jeffrey Williams. Her name is um Amber Williams. Amber, Amber and Jeffrey Williams, and the way the thing said, look. Did somebody come into your home? <laughs> like, what? The? I don't know if this lady was trying to be funny. Yeah. I think my only real question is, yeah. did your death have anything? Yeah. When she said that they come in your house, he keeps saying, no, she lived there. It was her house, too. He said, no, she lived there. He keeps saying, she brought it in. She gave it to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how true this stuff is. Thing to do with you having to testify. <laughs> Was anybody paid talk about? Talk about. I was gonna say, was anybody paid to silence you? No. Angels that. Oh my. And the angels is there taking care of look. Amber drugs you. I don't know how true this shit is. I don't know if this lady just doing this for clout. I'm not. I'm really trying to look and see what's going on. Do you know the person's name? Mm. What's his name? Jeffrey Williams people. Allegedly. I don't want to get nobody hurt out here spreading rumors. But, you know, let's, let's let the cops do their job. We can sit back. We can cool out. We can see how it transpire. Let's just let the cops do their job. 
But as far as his brother, I really think the brother was messing with her. He looked at very sneaky. Very sneaky. The baby mother. I'm not sure if I saw her in the videos, but even the videos I did see of her, very sneaky like. Maybe they was messing around. They and, and he said that he gave her money. Remember I said that? He used to keep all that money in the house. He said, I got hundred dollar bills that's so old you can blow dust off them. Right? What if they wanted all his money? And he said he had a safe in the house, watch. Watch. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god. You were set up? Safe is in my it was in my house. Remember I said that? He said that. I mean, he showed the gold money counter. He said, I got money put up that's so old, you can blow dust off it. You ain't going to no bank, no bank, blowing no dust off no money. You ain't going to keep no old bills, put your money in the bank. They're going to keep on refurbishing them, trading them, man, getting new bills and all that. How he got bills so old? That nigga had bills from the 60s and the 70s. $100 bills. Dude was like, damn, man, she wasn't this old in a long time. I mean, show me Quan had him. How this lady, like, like, even if this lady just joshing and we said all this shit shit the other day. I showed y'all a video where I'm walking up and down the house and mentioning this safe that she's talking about. Put it all together. Silence for show. Silence for show. Is there anything you want to say uh, to your fans? He said they're going to try to show up at his funeral, whoever did it. They're going to come to the funeral. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, my name is Candace, and I actually give victims a voice. So I want to know if you're a victim or not. Do you think you're a victim? Yes. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to review this, see what you said, and then, depending on what you said, depending on what you said, I'll come back. Thank you. Rich home. Thank you, Benny. Thank you, Kanika. What was your cause of death? She walked. She walked. She gave a lot. Tell me. Um, really he went to sleep. He went to sleep. Walk. So she said his brother. He said his brother went to sleep, and they did that to him. Oh. Wow. Okay, thank you so much. Oh my. 
Now, anyway. Uh, my fight mom with Thug, all yeah. of them. Every last Anything one. specific that comes to your mind? The BET Hip Hop Awards. Oh, okay. The firm. You remember yeah, yeah. what year that was? Uh, I got to be like 14 to 15. I got the firm. Oh, okay. Free wide so. Free wide yeah. so. What was your favorite moment with Thug? Uh, my Free wide so. I might want beef with Thug. I feel like it was an unfortunate accident. He died. I really do. ODs happen every day, be when you're doing drugs. Like, it happens. Family be hurt. I get that shit. Family be destroyed. I feel I get them. But in the same token, I got to remember something. When you do drugs, I lost friends doing that shit. People that I'm close to from drugs. It happens. As far as to point my finger at his brother, his wife, and shit like that, it ain't that I'm trying to blame them for what happened to him. I said that they was foul as fuck for what happened after he died. They let him sit in there for a reason. I heard that he was sleeping on the couch. Shots out to Miss Lowdown. I, I like to get props where props is due. I heard that he was sleeping on that couch for a reason. I heard that that girl is an Eastern star. It's still an Eastern star ritual. That's how it goes. One thing I will remember about Rich Homie Quan, he loved his fans, he loved his friends, and for the most part, it seems like he really loved his family. I know that he probably would never thought that some of the people that was around him would have even ever took anything from him if something happened to him, but I just feel like that's what happened. Before the dad got there, they wanted to clean out his house, they wanted to take his shit, and I feel like that's what they did. But I say he spent a bad time with his fans. It's a good dude for what I'm saying. And this ain't the only fan bloggers and shit like that. He went with young brothers and was putting the message in there. And he was telling them as he was sitting there getting drunk, smoking his weed, don't do drugs, man. He kept saying it himself. So I give him, I give him props. You know what I'm saying? Some shit you just can't help. You know what I mean? As far as them saying, Amber has something to do with it. I'm going to let the law do what it do. I'm going to let the law do what it do, and we'll sit back and we'll wait before we point our fingers for all the mad fans. Somebody said, how you going to talk about bro? Bitch, I lived in bro since I was little, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? I'm from Sunland Park all day, stomping, stepper, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? What are you doing? Shout out to everybody down there in Hollywood, down in Liberia, everybody from down there on Green Street, Green Street, Alley McCullough. Shout out to Scotty with the burgers. You got to be old school over there with that one. Scotty over there on Green Street, Alley with the burgers. Shout out to Lou Brown over there on Green Street, holding down the storehouse. Rest in peace if she's still, if she's still around. Shout out to Miss Luda Brown. Big Booty Luda is what they called her. Man, come on, man. Stop playing. Stop playing me like I, like I ain't from Florida. Like I ain't been, I ain't from Florida, from New, New Jersey. Brick City, 07103. My mother shipped me down to Florida when I was little to keep me out of trouble, nigga. I've been in Broward since 92, since most of these motherfuckers was legit, since some people wasn't born. Word is bomb. And like I said, shout out to everybody out there at Hollandale on Foster Road. Shout out to everybody out there in drama over there on, Fo on Foster Road. Everybody over there in drama. Salute to y'all boys holding shit down. You know what I'm saying? Salute to everybody out there. Now, the team center boys. My nigga, my nigga, Big Tootie over there, Big Sam. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, that nigga Cookie Man, that motherfucker boy Santa Claus, that motherfucker boy Dreadlock. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to all the real motherfucking Hollywoodians. Y'all know what we do. It's your boy Costa Dom. I'm gone.